Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to this video. We are back again on the PlayStation 5 and we are taking a look at the Steady Hand Hand Cannon. This is the returning Iron Banner Hand Cannon. I got this from my first engram from Lord Saladin. Pretty damn lucky when you consider the perks that we got. Really, really solid roll. We got Quick Draw and we got Swashbuckler. This thing is really, really nice. We got a Pended Mag for increased magazine size, which is also nice. Fast draw, which is pretty decent for the handling. And then we got a stability masterwork. I'm really, really happy with this, considering I got this from my very first Iron Banner engram this season. So, hey, man. Some streamer RNG coming in here. And Swashbuckler's a really interesting perk to have on a high-impact hand cannon. I'm not sure if it's been a perk on a high-impact hand cannon until now. It is really, really nice. When you have Swashbuckler times 5, you're going to be hitting people upwards of 130 damage per bullet making consistent two taps, even just getting swashbuckler times one and two is really, really nice. Building up damage with high impact hand cannons makes all the difference. We're also rocking Syntheseps and Top Tree Sentinel as a little bit of a throwback here in this video. Syntheseps obviously helping us proc swashbuckler that much more often and Top Tree Sentinel giving me overshields and weapons of light as well, by the way. Stacking swashbuckler times five and weapons of light saw me doing damage up to 159 to the head, I believe making it a comfortable one head, one body for a kill. And you know how it is when you pop a bubble. People come running in, you melee them, now you're at swash times 5, and you've got weapons of light. Things get out of hand pretty quickly, as you can imagine. We're also rocking some charge with light mods as well, for when we don't have weapons of light. And yeah, just stacking swashbuckler with additional damage perks is very, very filthy. Overall, Steady Hand does quite live up to its name for me. It's got a very, very easy to control recoil pattern for a high impact hand cannon, and it's just really predictable, doesn't kick too much. You know, it's a steady hand. It does what it says on the tin. But my steady hand also comes with a steady fist. A straight right, in fact, if we're going to get specific here. And let me tell you, dealing those straight right hands with intercepts is a nice little throwback for me. I'm back on console and I'm back using this Defender Titan and intercepts. That's kind of like where it all started in Destiny 2 for us. Now you can see here popping a bubble. The damage numbers just start going crazy, man, because then you get one kill. You've got swash times two and weapons of light. Then you get two kills. You've got swash times three and weapons of light. Things just escalate quickly with this gun. It is very, very nice. And you know what? I may not be a huge fan of them constantly reprising old guns and not designing new things, but they get a thumbs up from me for this one because obviously putting a perk combination like quick draw and swashbuckler on this gun is really, really nice. I do believe you can get some other really good perk combinations on this weapon. If you look there on the top left, you can see some of the perk options. You've got Ricochet Rounds, Light Mag, and High Cal for mag perks. You've got Quick Draw, Killing Wind, Zen Movement, Moving Target, Slide Shot Outlaw, all really, really good perks. And then you've got stuff like Swashbuckle, like we have, Surplus, Snapshot. This gun has a bunch of great perks. Also, the Iron Banner exclusive perks like Iron Gaze and Iron Grip are also there. So I've got to give credit where it's due to Bungie. There's a really, really solid selection of perks available on this weapon and it's obviously not that hard to get since i got one from my very first engram so if you're on the lookout for a very strong high impact kinetic hand cannon that can be used in end game activities like trials of osiris iron banner grandmaster nightfalls and more then this is the gun that you're looking for and it's actually worth hopping into iron banner now guys i hope the gameplay has improved from yesterday i am still on ps5 using my standard dual sense controller i've got to say Continue to sing the praises of PS5. Can you guys tell that this is PS5 or PC gameplay? It's probably pretty hard to tell, apart from the fact that I look like I forgot what my jump button is because I don't have my back buttons. <laughs> but you know, hopefully we will have those very soon. And once we do, things will be looking really, really nice. That being said, I'm very much enjoyed the steady hand hand cannon. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have snagged yourself a god roll, what have you got and what are you rocking in the crucible? Personally, I'm pretty interested to try a killing wind version of this weapon, but I've got to say having quick draw on a high impact hand cannon is pretty fantastic. I'm not going to lie. A weapon that hits this hard usually won't handle this well, as you know, the perks would dictate. Quick draw obviously changes all that and it makes it feel like a lightweight hand cannon in terms of the way, you know, it feels to draw it and stow it and ADS it. Because people don't realize, or I think people maybe forget, that quick draw does actually greatly help your ADS speed as well. It's not just for, you know, readying and stowing the gun. Now, of course, in the gameplay, we're actually combining it with a truth teller, which had quick access sling. So that obviously makes you have a very, very fast swap speed 
when using that weapon. Obviously, it was quite nice to blast them with Truth Teller, swap to Steady Hand, finish with a melee, and then you have Swash times 5 on the hand cannon, and you can make some pretty nice plays. It's a really, really solid combination. Also, similarly, if you're going to use something like Fighting Lion, and you have the Catalyst for Fighting Lion, the Perk Chimera on the Fighting Lion, complements Quick Draw extremely well. And yeah, that swap time is just absolutely insane for this gun. In the final perk slot, you do have Surplus. For me personally, I like Surplus, but then if I have the option of Quick Draw in the first slot, I'm not going to go for Surplus in the second because I've already got fantastic handling and I think that's more than enough for me. Swashbuckler, the damage perk on the high impact hand cannon, it really is a no brainer to put these two perks together. If I could pick a perk combination, this would probably have been the first. The second for me will probably be Killing Wind Swashbuckler. I would like to try this thing with Killing Wind because getting that increased movement speed with the sand cannon could feel really, really good. As well as obviously you get the handling benefits and the max range benefit. Killing Wind on a high impact hand cannon could be very deadly indeed. So that'd be the other combo I would be looking for. Guys, Steady Hand is slapping in the Crucible. PS5 is looking good. We are feeling good. We should be going live for a stream as you're watching this video very shortly, but I will actually be trying out Cyberpunk today, I do think. I'm very, very interested to try it out. I know I haven't streamed the past two days, so I apologize for that. Switching over to the PS5, it does require me to change up certain little bits of my setup. I need to get certain pieces for my sound setup now that's going to have to change, and there's a lot of few little different things that have to change around now compared to when playing on PC. I'm not going to lie, from a, from a content creator's point of view, you know, editing content and playing on PC is a much more seamless experience because everything is on the, you know, the one system. I play on the PC, I save my clips to direct to the PC, everything's there. With the PlayStation, it gets a little bit complicated. You need to set up Elgato, you need to, you know, record clips a certain way. And if you save clips on the PlayStation 5, something I'm kind of disappointed in is they haven't set up a cloud system for your clips. So if there was a cloud system and say I could export my PlayStation 5 clips from PS5 to say my Google Drive, that would be amazing. But as it stands, it's just like PS4. If you want to transfer your clips over, you need to transfer them via a hard drive. And I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit fiddly, you know, it's a little bit last gen. I hope maybe they've got something in the future with that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.